Gomez preparing for her second bout of Kyoto 2021. Won the 2019 National Youth Selection Tournament at 51 kilograms to assure her place here on the Ecuadorian national team at the World Championships. Lucia Ellen Ayari is the 2020 National Youth Champion of Italy in the 51 kilogram flyweight division and she's a two-time European medalist in the junior ranks at 50 kilograms, taking a silver in 2018 and followed that with a bronze a year later. Our referee is from Mongolia and we are just moments away from the start of action to find out who will be going through to face off against Chanu at the semi-final stage of the women's 51 kilogram flyweight division. Well, this promises to be quite a contest between two very skillful boxers, but they go about their trade in different ways. The orthodox boxer wearing red is the Italian athlete. Her opponent wearing... So it's the Ecuadorian wearing red. That's a southpaw, Genesis Gomez. The Italian is wearing blue. That is Lucia Ellen Ayari. Genesis Gomez, the southpaw produced a first round stoppage in her previous contest with her swarming, effective aggression. Lucia Ayari, a unanimous points decision victor to book her place here at the quarterfinal stage. And you see Ayari up on her toes, using the space of the boxing ring and picking off the advancing boxer in red with straight shots. Gomez looking to get into the pocket. Bobbing and weaving in front of her opponent is Gomez. Ayari thought about unloading a right hand, but didn't fully commit to the shot. Well, lead legs will often tangle when a southpaw and orthodox boxer share the ring. And as you see, Gomez step onto the lead left foot of Ayari once again. Beautiful corkscrew left landed by Ayari, but it was countered by a single shot success from Gomez. Battle of the lead legs, always interesting when an orthodox and port-sided fighter meet in a ring. And the key so often to have your foot on the outside so you've got that space of the ring to move into. If the boxer with their foot on the inside, well, by definition, their avenue to the outside is cut off. Left cross not too far away from Gomez. Ayari, looking to keep her on the end of straight punches. Left cross is a nice shot from the woman in red. Same shot once again, which was far more effective as Gomez found a range behind the right jab. Looking for the same shot once more, and she's following it up, doubling, tripling up the attack, coming in multiple phases. Good portion of the round for Genesis Gomez. Change of shots on the resumption after the intervention by the referee. So Gomez increasing the pressure over the front foot and Ayari just not able to find the room for her punches. She's trying to get her straight shots away off the back foot. But Gomez, her swarming aggression was making it difficult. There's a nicely picked right cross by the woman in blue. Change on the inside of flailing shots on the sound of the 10-second clapper as Gomez continually coming forwards and having repeated success with that right, left, out of the southpaw stance. Right jab, left cross, and that became a really profitable combination for her in the closing stages of the round, but not enough to overturn the good work and punch picking produced by Ayari in the first two minutes and change of the first round. But that's the success that Gomez was having in the closing stages of the first. But earlier on in the round, Ayari was able to pick off the advancing boxer in red 
for some straight punches. Seconds out, please. Round two. So into the second round then. First round taken on a 4-1 split in favor of the Italian boxer wearing blue. Nice right hand landed by Ayari. As Gomez trying to get over the front foot once again and got the better of that exchange as the two boxers came together. Genesis Gomez, one of two women on the Ecuadorian boxing team. They're four strong in total because they've got two men on the squad as well. Italy, represented by eight women and seven men in near 15 strong contingent. Terrific punch picking once again from the woman in red. And it's the same combination repeatedly and the left hand continues to crash home as she gets the better of that exchange by having the greater volume of successful punches. On the front and foot once again, continuing to crowd Ayari. As Ayari turns the tables intelligently and she scores with a couple of straight shots of her own, but Gomez straight back into the pocket, looking for that same combination that has served us so well. Final shot of that exchange was a left jab from Ayari. Gomez working away with punches to the body, lands with a flashing right hook upstairs out of that south force stance. And another one, and now bringing the hooks into play and backing up Ayari to the neutral corner just above our commentary position. Gomez continuing to turn up the pressure and walk down her opponent, unloading to both body and head. Make no mistake, Ayari is having some successes of her own, but this isn't just naked aggression from Gomez. It is educated, effective aggression. Now back beyond punching range, Ayari looking to establish her lead left hand. She lands a terrific straight cluster of punches as the two boxers come together in the space of the ring. Minute to go in what has been a keenly contested second round so far. And now Ayari, instead of using her legs and the space of the ring for that previous portion of the round, was content to hold her feet and stand her ground. She was backed up once again, but now she's choosing to stand and trade off in the space of the ring once more. It's producing some terrific action, but Gomez's shots appear crisper. And you see Ayari has that habit of swiveling her head when she's out of punching range. And perhaps, when it just seems to, they just seem to be landing more solidly do the shots of Gomez, swiveling her head up on impact more and Gomez's head is turning from the scoring punches of Ayari. So closing seconds of the second round. And the momentum that was established by Gomez at the closing stage of the first has been continued here in the second for my money. And it's that shot, the left cross, which has been really profitable indeed. And there's confirmation that she takes it on a 3-2 split. So it's all square for four of the five judges as we go into the final round. Not practically nothing between these two boxes. After six completed minutes of action, Genesis Gomez consistently getting into the pocket and finding the range. With her left cross in particular, there was a change in tactics from Ayari because at one portion of the round, she elected to stand and trade off with the woman in red. So who will be able to implement the instructions of their corner during this final three-minute session? Round three. So into the third and final round we go. 51 kilogram flyweight action to determine who will be going through to the medal stage. And look at the ferocious trade off between both boxes in the space of center ring. And it's Gomez who's looking to back up Ayari, but Ayari getting her stance back beneath her and comes back into the fray with a terrific right hand. But Gomez continuing to walk her way forwards and is letting the greater volume of punches go. Terrific action in the first 30 seconds of this final round. 
Good right hand on the resumption from Ayari and again. But back comes Gomez as the two boxers continue to let leather fly. Producing an action-packed third and final round. Oh my goodness, the chins of both boxers being picked. Picked off cleanly. So as much respite as we've had in the entire contest as they get straight back to arcing punches on the inside once again. Uppercut being brought into play by Ayari. Well, no space of the ring being used in this third and final round so far. You could contract the ropes massively. And these boxers would still have space around them because they're just standing in the space on top of the logo and testing the chins of one another. There's a blistering left cross from Gomez looking for the same shot once again. Ayari comes back with her own backhand. The two boxers momentarily beyond punching range before they step back into the pocket and let shots fly once again. Gomez looking to close the gap. Ayari standing her ground. She's being subjected to first and third boxing through that previous coming together. Now Ayari up on her toes for the first time in round three. Both boxers leaving it all in the ring in pursuit of a place in the medal stages of Kielce 2021. It's Chanu, the Indian boxer who awaits in the semi-final. And she too capable of terrific punch output, but what a right hand on the resumption landed by Ayari and then a right left with shots landing from down by her knees and then another right hand landed by Ayari. Gomez going for it, but she's been picked off by some clean shots. She's aware of that and she gets through with two punches of her own. But Ayari getting the better of the previous 15 seconds or so. What a third and final round. Remember the context of this contest. It is all square for four of the five judges. That waistband needs some attention because it must be visible to help the referee determine whether a blow is fair or foul, hence the expression below the belt. Not just a fashion accessory, it's a crucial part of Aiba boxing. Terrific shots exchanged by both as they continue to jolt the head back of their opponents. Right up until the final bell, they continue to compete. Wow, what a blistering final three minutes in the 51 kilogram flyweight division. The contest was all square for four of the five judges with two rounds in the book. And in the third and final round, it's as though they said, OK, let's see who's going through to the medal podium. And they met one another head on with plenty of skillful punch picking. It was anything but a free swing up because the shots were correct and they both found success repeatedly. Who will be going through to the medal podium here at Kielce 2021? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the blue corner. Ayari. And it is Ayari, Lucia Ellen, Lucia Ellen Ayari, the 17-year-old from Italy, through to the semi-final stage with a unanimous points decision victory, 28-29 for four of the scoring judges. That's how close the contest was. She's acknowledging all sides of the arena here at the Halalegianov, and we're going to see her in the rope square once again. Terrific performance by her, but let's give credit to Genesis Gomez who was absolutely 